Hello and welcome to HTML Tutorials, lesson number 7. Um, in the last tutorial we talked about tables. Now um, I'm going to actually go a little bit deeper into tables again in this tutorial. Um, so this is basically tables tutorial part 2. Um, so let's take a look at what we did already. Let's open the code up and uh, let's open it up in Firefox. Okay, what we did so far is we made a table with four rows and four columns with 16 um, cells in total. And we looked at um, a line in center, um, a line in left, a line in right, and also the, um, align the vertical alignment with top, middle, and bottom. Now, also, we looked at changing the height of the rows as well. Um, now, I talked about uh, the tables. Uh, being inherent so if I change the height of this cell then uh, this the other cells on the same row inherit the same height well we can also do that with width as well which I forgot to mention we made the table 700 pixels wide now if I make this cell here a width of um, 50 the other cells will um, adapt to the size so basically it will keep 650 pixels here um, let's let's do it rather than um, talk about it so let's change the first um, cell to the width equals 50 pixels and we'll save it out we come here and as you can see um, the whole column um, goes smaller as well so it just um, goes further into inheriting um, the sizes of these cells. So this is why um, tables are, are, are good but the structure pretty much needs to be the same all the time. Um, okay the next thing we're going to um, talk about which I, I need to, I need to uh, go further into is Yeah, it's um, merging cells. Now I'm sure you've all merged a cell with uh, Microsoft um, Word. Um, basically merging uh, cells is if on the last um, row, for example, we uh, wanted two cells here and then one cell here. So we didn't want two separate cells. Now that's easily done. So we, need, we know that we need to go to um, row number four and cell number three okay in the table so we come down and this will be the first row the second row third row and fourth row and we're coming to cell number three now what we're going to do basically is we're going to span this row um, over onto two rows so what we do is we say row span and we're spanning it over to two rows which means we can basically get rid of uh, this row, we don't need it anymore. Control S to save it, come back and refresh, and you see that oh, I did it wrong. Okay, my mistake, sorry, to go horizontally, it's column span. Okay, we'll go through that again in a second, and there we go, column span. So we've done column span, let's just to, um, do this one now. So let's go to row 2, cell 4, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, merge these two cells together. So we need to go to row two, there's row one, row two, and then we go into um, the fourth cell and we're going to say row span equals two, which means uh, we come down to um, the third row because we're merging it with this one and we delete this one. And there we go. Okay, so basically, uh, row span it, it's it's in the name basically that it will span over two rows. Okay, and if you was wanted to make all of these uh, here, let's make the first column here completely one row. So we need to go to row one, column one, cell, and we need to span it over one, two, three, four um, rows. So we go to the first one and we say row span equals 4, which means we need to get rid of uh, this cell, this cell, 
and this cell. Control S to save it out. And there you go. Okay, which means now um, the size of it has changed because I removed the cell with the formatting for the height um, on it. So it means it, it goes back to the default size. Um, that is pretty much um, that's pretty much it. Let me just pause the video and have a think if we need to do anything else. Okay, let's the final thing is we used um, the pixels for the width of the table and we said it's going to be 700 pixels. So let's change it to 100%. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say that the first um, cell or the first column, I should say, within the first row, um, we're going to give uh, the size of 25%. And then the second one, we will give uh, the size of 40%. So that's 65 in total, which leaves 35 remaining. So let's now do this one and give this one 10%. So that's 25 remaining. And this one will be by default 25. So it, although I've wrote it in there, it will be by default because we haven't told it how large it, um, it's going to be, but these have been told how large they must be. So let's go back to here. And as you can see, it spreads over the whole page and it then um, puts the boxes out to the correct size that we've told it to, which sometimes can be helpful. If you don't know how large the, um, the, the box is that you're using, then you can just say 100% and so on. Anyway, that's pretty much it for tables. Uh, the next tutorial, like I said in tutorial 6, is going to be um, moving on to um, input boxes, text areas, check boxes, and contact formula structure. Now that we've done table, we can move on to that. Okay, I'll see you in the next tutorial. My name is David Thorne, and visit the other tutorials at www.thornwebdesign.de. Bye-bye.